Today you and I are going to be making four Bakelicious cupcakes using a cupcake measuring cups. Welcome back to Kids Cooking and Crafts everybody. My name is Ava and today we're going to be making four different types of cupcakes. Nesting measuring cups. Let me show you how they work. So this lid comes off like that, and then there's more cupcakes inside of it. Like this. And inside all those cups, we got measuring spoons. That's a lot of stuff compacted into one little container. Isn't that so cool? Thank you, Bakelicious, for sponsoring this video. And if you want your own cupcake measuring cups, then follow the link in the description below. All right, let's start on these Bakelicious cupcakes. I like that word, Bakelicious. 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 I already preheated my oven so that it can warm up while we're making the batter. 325 degrees. First things first, we need three sticks of butter and then put it into a mixing bowl. Now three and one quarter cup of sugar. One, two, three, and a quarter. Now we're gonna mix that up until it's nice and fluffy like a cloud. Now while that's mixing, we're going to crack our eggs. We need seven. Look at how nice and fluffy it is. Now we are going to slowly add our eggs. And two teaspoons of vanilla. All right guys, we're almost done. All we need to do is add our dry ingredients to this bowl. The first dry ingredient is flour. Three cups of flour. So when you measure flour, you want it to be nice and fluffy. You don't want to like compress it down. Just pile it on and then scrape it off. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it all together and then I'm going to add it to our wet ingredients. Alternating with one cup of milk. A little bit of dry, and a little bit of milk. A little bit more with, of dry, and we'll end with the milk. Let's put our war paint on. So these are all of the different cupcakes that we're going to make. So this is our giant. This is our large, this is our medium, and this is our tiny. So I already prepped our pan so that the cake won't stick. We're going to put three and a half cups of batter in this one and two and a half cups of batter in this one. These are ready for the oven. All right guys, these are all ready. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Three, two, one. Whoa! This one kind of looks like Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups. Now let's hook the bottom to the top. I got this blue frosting and I'm going to put it along the bottom layer. I'm going to grab this white frosting and make little swirls all along the top. There we go.
Wait, we're missing something. <gasps> the sprinkles! And it's never finished without a cherry on top. Yay! <laughs> Do you guys remember the small, medium, and large cupcake pans? Well, in the meantime, I made some. Large, medium, and small. This reminds me of our Bakelicious measuring cups. Ta-da! You guys know what to do now. Tell me in the comments down below, which one would you eat? I'd probably eat uh, all of them, because I love cupcakes, even if they're bigger than my head. And don't forget, if you want your own measuring cups, look in the description below. Oh, and one more thing. Please, please, please subscribe with the cherry on top. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below which one would you eat. See you guys next time. Bye.